Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And uh, one of the uh, pleasant surprises that a lot of our patients have experienced over the last 25 years at our office is uh, even though they come in from, oh, who knows, a wide range of symptoms, uh, I think a lot of times they don't really come here specifically for blood pressure issues. And uh, so a lot of times they have a pleasant surprise that even though their other symptoms are getting better, whatever that might be, that a lot of times they notice their blood pressure come down. They start actually coming down off of some of their blood pressure medications, uh, which have a lot of side effects. Some of them can be pretty nasty. Uh, uh, so I want to explain to you a little bit. People ask us all the time, well, how in the heck can a bone out of a line at the top of my neck cause blood pressure problems? Well, we do know this, that all the blood flow that goes to the brain obviously comes up through the neck. And uh, specifically, here's like the vertebral artery. Uh, when the bones, uh, when the blood, when the brain calls for more blood, the heart is forced to beat a little harder to push up against gravity, up through those blood vessels to get to the brain. Well, as long as there's no interference, as long as those blood vessels are unimpeded, then the brain gets full blood supply, no problem. But if one of the bones up here at the top of the neck gets a little out of place, then it can very easily squeeze down or close down on the blood vessel, the artery that supplies blood to the brain. So now the only way to get to a smaller opening, the brain forces the heart to beat a little harder, increase that blood pressure to push up through the smaller opening, to get the blood to the brain. So when these bones get out of the line, they can impede blood flow to the brain by creating a smaller opening. The brain responds by upping your blood pressure so that it gets maximum blood flow, full blood flow, right? So um, there has been a lot of research, okay? So for example, here is a blood pressure uh, pamphlet we did, and you can see Oh, there's probably 20, 25 references just on the back of this one particular pamphlet. Uh, one study, one of the few times that upper cervical chiropractic has actually been on national television was on Good Morning America, was a study that came back a few years ago. Uh, a upper cervical doctor did with the uh, University of Chicago Med School, and uh, it was a cardiologist that they did the study with. And what they found over a six-week period that the average blood pressure dropped on average 16 points. 16 points is the equivalent of taking two medications, both medications valued at a billion dollars each. So that's a $2 billion medication. $2 billion in medications relieved by six weeks of upper cervical care. That's the equivalent. Now, that came on one time. Never been heard of again since. Uh, why do you think that is? Well, obviously, if a simple upper cervical chiropractic adjustment could take the place of $2 billion drugs, don't really think the pharmaceutical industry is too eager to get that information out there. And considering 80% of all advertising is paid for by the pharmaceutical industry, then there's not a lot of chance you're going to see a whole lot of that story on national media because they don't want to lose their 80% of revenue paid for by the pharmaceutical industry. So I'm trying to share with you now that research proved 16 degree drop in blood pressure just from very simply correcting the position of the bones in the upper part of the neck, allowing proper blood flow to the brain. Thus, there's no need to have the increase in blood pressure because you have normal flow of blood to the brain. So then the brain tells the body, slow back down. We don't need that heavy blood pressure any longer because we've got full blood flow, natural blood flow with no interference. It's really that simple. Now, how come no one's ever heard of this before? Again, I just told you, if a simple upper cervical chiropractic adjustment could take the place of $2 billion drugs, not a, lot, not a lot of pharmaceutical companies out there advertising that. Thus, not a lot of media is allowed to promote it. So if you have high blood pressure, that's a great side effect, right? That your body can actually heal itself. 
okay? But I promise you, if you have high blood pressure, there's probably something going on in your neck. There's probably other things happening within your body, probably some structural compensations that have resulted from this bone being out of a line, maybe some neck pain, upper back, lower back. I don't know. So if you have a high blood pressure, find an upper cervical doctor. If you live in the Charlotte area, give our office a call. We never charge for the initial consultation to find out if you have an upper cervical problem. If you do, we'll explain to you what we need to do to try to fix it. If you don't, hey, you rule that out. And I promise you, we'll find another specialist that can help you. If you live anywhere at Matthews, Men Hill, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Huntersville, Cornelius, Gastonia, Belmont, we are the upper cervical doctor for you. Give our office a call at 704-588-5560. We'll get you in as soon as we can. We'll check you out to see if you might have an upper cervical misalignment that could be causing your blood pressure and potentially other problems. If you don't live in the Charlotte area, do yourself a favor. Google it. Try to find an upper cervical chiropractor near you. If you can't find one for yourself, call our office. We'll do our best to try to find the one closest to you so that you can get the help that you need. I hope you have a great afternoon. I hope this makes sense to you. If there's anything we can ever do to help you, please just give our office a call. Hope you have a great afternoon. We look forward to meeting you someday.